Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. This is an introduction video of the ABC 123 time scanner indicator. The time scanner indicator was is a data mining tool and what we use it for is hopefully try to look at previous events to see if the events are similar in the future. So these timestamps as you represents are possible areas of changing a direction and what you'll have receive are times possibly in the future that will hopefully be the same movement so as you can see on an ES one minute chart you see 1201 by 1209 cell 1216 by 1222 cell and the, the key to use the time scanner indicator is is not to be trading every signal it's it's to look at the projections on uh, let's say if you're trading a one minute chart or a 300 tick chart but look at areas of opportunity of when the trend is changing so the bottom line is is because we're looking at to a one-to-one -one ratio let's say if I go to a five minute chart here you'll have less times but still it might be too noisy okay or let's say you trade uh, a 500 tick chart just give it a second for it to load and what we'll receive are different different prices but there might be way too many signals so let's go back to a, a one minute chart here let it load up and so in the options what you can do is you can data mine 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 30, and 60 minutes. Okay. So let's say we're on a one minute chart, but I say I just want to data mine a 15 minute chart. And let's see if we can find some times that might correlate. So at 10 o'clock in the morning, this thing by 11 o'clock to say sell, and it failed, but we're going on an uptrend, so we can use this as the impulse move to go in the opposite direction. And so the, the key the key for using for example here at three in the morning for the sell-off we know the trend is going down so at three o'clock would be maybe one of our optimum opportunities for a sell-off okay so th that's the key of using this indicator it it's not to jump in immediately at that time it's it's to look at all your other methodologies of of what is the trend where's our consolidation patterns etc and when you see them all line up with that point it's the best opportunity to get in so what what else you can use this indicator for is if you are a trend trader we have other options such as color coding so show non-trade colors so what will happen is the candle colors will change saying why are we trying to trade up going against the trend why are we trading up going against the trend we're trying to trade down but it was already at the end of the trend and away we go and with this one saying why are we again but we know she's whipped up so now 11 15 we're saying why are we trading the trend but it's supposed to be going up okay and that's that's how you use it so it doesn't matter if you use a tick chart or a, a time chart it will try to project times in the future for you. So what we'll be looking for is at 7.15, we'll be looking for a buying opportunity. If the trend is changing, it looks like she's curling down. We got some consolidation up top. So maybe 22.30 would be our next good oppor our best opportunity. But the key is what you have to do first and foremost, make sure you get at least, I'll say minimum of eight days of data for data mining. You could probably even go seven, but eight would be just an opp uh, opportune time, and you can, and so you'll have enough information. Now, let's say, for example, you have um, sixty days of data that you loaded up. Okay, now you have sixty days of data, and you see no times. As you can see here, what I what I try to do is just to minimize uh, just uh, graphics. What you can do is 
just do a look back period at a couple of zeros there. Let's say 20,000 hours back. There we go. And then you'll receive all your times. There you go. And lastly, let me take a look here on the basics is you can use this now on um, a second chart. If you're on a second chart, just, just use the refresh so we can get our signals more often. And let me see here. Also, there are timelines, but I won't get into the detail on that one. You'll have to play around with that one. So it's, it's a very simple system. Um, you can change if you if if you think uh, you want um, if you're using a non-color system and you want to use let's say uh, a 50 moving average because that's what you trade in you can switch it to a 50 moving average so your color codes will change accordingly as you can see everything was getting whipped around here so there you go okay if you have any questions you can always uh, feel free to email and just make sure to join the discord because i'm trying to get the discord um, for other traders to ask questions uh, there is a question period in in our discord group and it, and i'm trying to build a community of traders so we can all interact and trade with each other okay other than that thank you very much for watching this video just make sure you pinpoint your trades trade safe and have a great day